Okay, uh, this time what we're going to do is we're going to build a, a quick uh, budget spreadsheet so we can actually calculate various bits and pieces about budgeting. Now what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to put my cursor into a cell on my spreadsheet uh, where I'm going to start my, my accounting from. So the first thing I'm going to put in there is today's date and today is the 28th of Jan. So I've just typed 28th of Jan and put it into that cell and as you can see it's quite happy to accept that it's the 28th of January 14. Now we meet every week so therefore I'm going to use that cell plus seven and press return. Now this uh, spreadsheet is uh, or the use of dates is actually covered in a previous video that I've just recorded called playing with dates in Excel so again I'm not going to spend too much time on this but what I can do now is I can just drag that forward all the way across the spreadsheet um, to, to make up for it. Now here I've got an interesting issue can you see how I've got these uh, areas are filled with hash signs well the reason they're filled with hash signs is because there isn't enough room inside of the cell to display the information so that's because of the date format that I've chosen but if you remember just moving your cursor in between the letters so that your cursor changes to that sign of a double uh, headed arrow and just double clicking would actually enlarge the cell to fit so there I've now got all of my cells ready to fit now here I've got my income as my my first part and my income is generated uh, via uh, coffee money okay so once again I'm just going to double click in between there and it's enlarged that, that uh, column enough to get coffee money in and then um, I'm going to suggest that we collect I don't know 30 pounds a month a week are in coffee money so I've just typed 30 into there we've then got expenditure I'm going to call it spend and the things that we actually spend money on are the room, tea, coffee, sugar, and biscuits. So here we can see the items that we're going to spend money on. And uh, say so the room costs us £16 a week. Uh, that's formatted that as a date, and I don't want it formatting as a date. So I'm just going to come up here and click onto there. So that's going to be uh, a, a, an accountancy figure. So I've clicked on the money. Tea. Well, we bought some tea bags, so that, that cost us three pounds. Coffee. Uh, we spent five pounds on coffee. Sugar was a pound, and biscuits we spent um, one pound eighty. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is highlight that information and format it all as money. So as you can see I can now see exactly what I've spent and how much money I've actually brought in. So underneath here I can now find total spend. So my total spend again I can use the auto sum function. My total spend is £26.80. So underneath here I can now put a balance in that will show my balance on each week. So I press the um, equal sign and then I'm going to say I'm going to use my income minus my spend and press return. So my balance at the end of the first week is £3.20. Now again there's a couple of ways that I can then carry on from here. The first way is I could just carry on straight across and put my income in all the way across the spreadsheet so that it would actually uh, allow me to calculate this uh, or, or allow me just to use that figure every week. Now obviously there are issues with that because it may be that I won't spend that money or I won't get that money in every week. Here I can look at my spend and again I could actually uh, use the same method to take my spend across for each week. But again, that may not be accurate because I can't imagine I was drinking five pounds worth of coffee a week. 
So what would be better is if I just remove all of these uh, cells So what would be better is if I take the calculations that I've created and take them across the spreadsheet. So I've highlighted my calculations and I can just drag them straight across the spreadsheet all the way up to the 29th of April. Now, as you can see, what's happening now is I can see my first week where we collected £30 in um, and we had this amount of money uh, and this amount of spend against this amount of money. Now, the following week, um, we know that I'm not going to be there and somebody else may have cried off as well. So we're only going to get £26 in this week. However, the room is still going to be £16, but we're not going to spend anything on coffee or tea this week. We've still got some sugar left um, and we're only going to spend uh, a pound on biscuits. Oops, £100 might be a bit excessive. A pound on biscuits. So our total spend for that week was £17 and that means that we've now got £9 uh, left over as a balance from that week. Now what we really ought to have then is a running total that would give us the information about how much we've, we've got on a weekly basis. And we can do that. So we can actually take the amount that we've actually got as a balance and carry it forward into the following week. So what I'm going to do is build that running total and by pressing the equal sign and it's going to be the balance from the previous one plus the income from this week so as you can see the balance previously was zero my income is three pound twenty therefore that plus three pounds nothing plus three pound twenty is three pound twenty i can now drag this excuse me across the spreadsheet and we can see how much money we've actually got on a week by week basis. So the following week, uh, sorry, we know that we've got 16 pounds to find every time we meet, so I can take that one across as well. And we can see exactly uh, how our bad budget is shaping up. So what we've actually got here then is text down the side but because we've used real words, it looks like we know what we're talking about. We've used uh, numbers in the cells. And again, if I wanted to format these as money, I would just highlight my way across. And then I would press the, highlight the money format cell. We've got um, calculations. And the calculation there uses the auto sum. And so the auto sum has summed up above. We've then got a calculation which looks at using uh, uh, the minus sign. And we've got a calculation there that uses uh, a recurring, uh, uses the entry to allow us to create the addition to get a running total. What we then did was we used the, um, the sign there, the little black box in a corner to create a copy of that cell, but to update it to the next in the series. So there we've got a date that's that one plus seven, and so by highlighting that one across, it's actually updated each time. And there we've now created a very useful little sheet. Every week we come in, we could actually go in and just adjust the numbers. So uh, that week we only collected in £14. Um, but again, we've still got lots of uh, uh, tea and coffee left. Uh, we paid £2 on biscuits. Uh, we were expecting a lot more people in. Um, we just topped up the biscuits in. And we can see instantly how much money we've actually got uh, left at, on each occasion. OK, I hope that helps. I look forward to talking to you again. And uh, as I say, Excel is the best thing that's ever happened to a computer. Talk to you later. Bye.